everybody. Anna here. I took a nap today. Oh my goodness. It was nice. It was like, it was so weird because I got up. I might have like, I think I got up and went to the bathroom and I came back into my room and I just like curled up. Like I was just, I wasn't even like facing the right way. Like I was just like facing totally sideways and I just like curled up on my bed and like put my pillow like that and I was just thinking I just need to lay here for a second <laughs> and so then kind of just like snoozed off and then I woke up and then like my the, my backpack with my feeds was still on me so it was kind of uncomfortable I think that woke me up like my back was twisted so then I just like adjusted and I was so groggy and then I just fell asleep. So I think I slept for like an hour and a half maybe. I don't know exactly the timing because I was kind of like meh. That was nice. I don't always like taking naps because they throw me off kilter. It can just mess with my body and then I, a lot of times I can wake up with a really bad headache. I know that's insanely weird but it's just, it's true. But so far that hasn't happened. Um, I'm feeling like really achy and in pain everywhere and it's really sticky and humid, but it's cooled off majorly, like huge underlying bold, majorly. So that's been nice, I haven't run my air at all. And I did some quick cleaning, just putting things away that needed to be put away, like baby food and tubing for my IVs. So just cleaned that up a little. And I need to get my life together to go live on Facebook in a smidge. I like to go live in the afternoon, but I was just like, I can't get up. I'm so tired. And then the problem is I don't want to go live during the middle of like rush hour when everyone's driving and then the beginning of dinner so then I have to wait which is fine because I've just been kind of waking up and talking to my dad and you know all the things that are so important. Anyway, that's a little super strange update for today. There hasn't been a whole lot going on so far, except for my sleeping. Okay, so something pretty exciting. I, well, I've been wanting to do this. Oh, I should have gotten this box up first before I started filming. Um, I have been wanting to do this for a long while but was just now able to financially. So my, um, here, I'll just show you, hang on. My bin over here, or this isn't a bin actually, this is a, um, I guess you would call it a jewelry, I don't know, it's totally customizable. And uh, by the way, pause the Caribbean, yeah! Okay, so it's it's really overflowing. I can't fit everything into it. As you can see, there's like a pile over here and it's very, um, yes. So I finally I got um, some more bins to put because they're totally stackable and customizable. So I figured I would show you the before and then the after. So here we go, folks. Okay, well, I don't know what happened, but sadly, it doesn't seem like it's the same system of like the same set. It's very confusing. The container store is fabulous, but it's confusing. So I'm not sure if I should return or I don't know here you guys let me know if you have any ideas this is what it looks like it's super nice here let me get the glare off it's really nice because now instead of just having this this top part here 
uh, we now have this bottom part where I can pull out different sections with more organized chaos. Just kidding, it's not chaos. It's much more organized. Um, and well, the top is pretty much the same, although it actually, oh my word, I have a whole row of emptiness. <laughs> well, I guess that'll just be for more stuff, but I don't have anything over here, so that's really nice. But do you see how there's extra space on the ends? It's not quite the same. So I have to figure out if this is something that I'm going to keep. I'm not sure how to return this stuff. I have to check it out. I have to mull it over. I have to ponder it. Well, while I'm pondering, I need to get food because I am so hungry. My stomach's been growling. I am holding the phone like this because I'm trying to turn it around. I think I'm becoming like an expert on holding phones in weird ways. I guess it helps that I have EDS. Taylor's Danlow syndrome. So my EDS just makes me super like mobile in joints and anyway so I guess that's really helpful when you're trying to move the phone around but we'll see what Emma thinks about this that might help. All right I'm gonna go. Okay everybody it's time to say good night. Most of the house is sleeping. Actually there are five people that currently live here and three of us are I think my sister woke up. She has a hard time sleeping. My little sister. Anyway, I'm off to bed myself, so I'm gonna say good night. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you super soon. Bye.